Hello everyone, very good morning and welcome to the ABAP Debugging Made Easy course, where we are going to learn the debugging concept from basic to advanced level. In the today's session, we are going to see the definition of debugging. We will also see what are the different types of debugging. We will see if we have to debug any program, what are the way to debugging to activate the debugging. What are the different types of debugging? Like we have the normal breakpoint, session breakpoint, hard-coded breakpoint, external breakpoint, conditional breakpoint, dynamic breakpoint, custom breakpoint. So all those just I will list down and in the coming classes, we are going to see all those one by one. <clears throat> Minimum 10 class is going to be there. So you don't have to worry. We will learn slow and steady but make sure that whatever i promised i will be covering that as well as more than that you know i will try to cover so now <clears throat> breakpoints here i've already listed the normal breakpoint what is the normal breakpoint the sense of normal breakpoint means if you go to any program already i have written one program for you so the program which I have written Z ABAP debug. So see here, just observe here. Here you can see that, you know, you have this option for debugging, okay? And the other option, other option here, this one, the second option. So the first option is basically known as the session breakpoint and the second option where a human symbol is given, right? This will be known as the external breakpoint. Why the human symbol is given over here? Because this uh, external breakpoint is the user specific, okay? So basically this is the user symbol. So this uh, breakpoint, if you are going to use, you have to mention the user information, okay? And where you will mention the user information, I will let you know, but just understand, this is the external breakpoint and this is the session breakpoint. And uh, the normal breakpoint, when I talk about, you know, if you, put the breakpoint anywhere over here. If you put the breakpoint, let's suppose here, you can see that this is session breakpoint. Again, like if you have to put the external breakpoint, this is what we are going to click on, okay? So one is the session breakpoint, another is the uh, external breakpoint. And the normal breakpoint, when the normal breakpoint is also known as the debugger breakpoint. Okay. For example, if I'm going to debug this one, so just run this material type here. I'm giving ROH. I will tell you about this program, how, what it is going to do. We, this is the main program, which I will be considering for showing the uh, debugger concept, as well as we'll be talking about other standard transaction as well, like how to find, uh, how to do the debugging and perform the troubleshooting, okay? If you find any bug or any, uh, you know, issue over there. So let's run this. And here, this is the session broke point, you can see that right and if we put the breakpoint you can see that this is basically known as the debugger breakpoint and the life of this debugger breakpoint is only during the debugger session that means once you will come out from the debugger mode this breakpoint will not exist anymore okay this we also tell normal breakpoint you know, 
one is the session breakpoint another is the external breakpoint this is the debugger breakpoint we also tell that the normally simply we have put a breakpoint okay so now if i press f6 the control is going to the next statement and here it is right and when i've just pressed f8 it has come out and it has displayed the output now let's go back once again and if you see here that breakpoint which i have put during the debugger session is now no more right because their scope was just during the debugger session okay this uh, session breakpoint is going to be present during the abap session till the time you are here in this uh, system you know it is going to be there for that much time until and unless you are going to be you know exit you are going to sign out from this current session okay this external breakpoint will be active for 2 hours whenever this is the standard setting so let's suppose for example if you are going to put the external breakpoint okay so here you can see that breakpoint was set for external debugging system wide user yard 001 validity for 2 year 2 hours right so for this user this external breakpoint is set and this is the like for this complete system okay for this complete system this scope is going to be for complete system it's a system wide okay and validity is 2 hours and this is going to be for 2 hours right so this is what actually so normal breakpoint here we can tell that this is also known as the debugger breakpoint so this we can set during the debugger session then we have the session breakpoint this validity is session breakpoint means whenever your abap session is there okay till that time it will be there okay so till the user is till the user session is active until and unless you are going to come out it will be there hard coded breakpoint so for example here sometimes what happens the developer you know let's suppose i am writing this code okay and i wanted that uh, you know every time to debug uh, this particular ad selection screen output okay and this i want to debug so what i will do that <clears throat> i'll put the breakpoint hard coded breakpoint this is the hard coded breakpoint okay so this is going to be a stop every time for all the user if anyone is going to execute this program it is going to stop it over here because this is the hard coded breakpoint and that's why we make sure that we don't write such kind of hard coded breakpoint you know because it's going to stop it over here all the dialog session all the you know screen uh, related session means this is what in the dialog mode we are working right dialog work process is responsible for executing this particular program so we are working in the dialog mode so whenever like you know if this program is the part of any standard transaction let's suppose mm01 just assume okay or you have done any enhancement in a standard transaction and there if you have written the breakpoint you know in your organization there might be 1000 people and all those will be using the sap system so if anyone is going to run that transaction he will his his control will stop over here because he is going to run the mm01 or mm02 and you have written the enhancement and there you have put the hard coded breakpoint so make sure that you don't put the hard coded breakpoint 
you know so uh this is the point let me show you the hard coded breakpoint over here and if you run this one you can see that it will stop right you can see that at breakpoint it got a stop automatically right so now you will tell that you require to put a hard coded a breakpoint you don't want to you know put the session breakpoint and all these things every time when you enter into the transaction right what you can do for that purpose you can simply put the break and because you want to put this hard coded breakpoint for your user only you know so what is my user i will just go and find out my user okay and that user only i will put it so here if you see that yard double zero one right this is my user so just you give yard double zero one and put into single quote okay so what this will do that it will stop only for my user so other people will not get disturbed so whenever you want to use a hard coded breakpoint use the break and then give your user id so that it will stop only for you let's check the syntax and then we will uh, run and we will see that if it is getting stopped or not for my user so it's taking some time it's giving the error right where it's giving the error here it's giving the error let me see the syntax there is there looks like some uh syntax error so we will quickly check the syntax so pressing f1 just to find out the correct syntax i think it's break user let me see so it has opened over here page this is for the line break no i'm doing something wrong this is not the syntax breakpoint check the syntax now yeah if we don't have to use the break in fact we have to use the breakpoint and we have to mention the user id okay and this breakpoint will stop for that particular user id activate this one activate it and now for my user only it will stop if you don't mention any user id over here it will stop for all the user okay now if i run because this is my user so it will stop only for my user so if you are doing the enhancement now please tell me how you will be writing over there you have to write breakpoint and then okay so just uh, we were logged out uh, due to the network issue and now again i'm going to log in into the program and let's observe okay you can see that there is no breakpoint at this moment session breakpoint is also gone and the external breakpoint is also uh, not present but sometimes you can see that external breakpoint uh, will be there you know but anyway session breakpoint is not going to be there okay and we have seen that we have written one breakpoint uh, code over here right let me search this one and we have mentioned over here the user id and this user id whenever executing the program it will stop for them okay so you understood about the hard coded breakpoint all right so syntax for this is breakpoint if you simply give the breakpoint it will stop for all the users and for a specific user you know for a specific user we'll have to give 
break point and the username and username should be here inside the single code right so this will be for a specific user so till here it's clear for everyone right external breakpoint see external breakpoint whenever you have to debug any application from outside of the current sap system okay so a little bigger topic you know let's suppose this is your sap system and in this system you have one rfc function module or bapi right bapi is by default rfc function module and this rfc function module if you want to debug from ui5 or fury application or from webdin pro webdin pro or let's suppose from postman right we have a testing tool called postman correct you might have used or any third party application java dot net anything java dot net anything if you have and that is calling this rfc function module correct so this webdin pro also is calling this rfc function module and this postman application let's suppose also going to call this rfc function module and this java or dot net application there can be several scenario you know or, or let's suppose even a different sap system another sap system this is another sap system not only the non sap system so this is non sap system okay these are the non sap system right fury webdin pro postman third party outside of the sap you have another sap system let's suppose this is also going to call this one so in all these scenario whether another sap system or another third party you know webdin pro however it's the sap product only but you know whenever we are going to debug the webdin pro application you know we put the external breakpoint okay so when we are going to use the external breakpoint anything anything which is going to be which is going to call from outside then we are going to put the external breakpoint how we can put the external breakpoint it's uh, easy let me show you here you can see that uh, first let's suppose i want to put the external breakpoint over here okay so this is how you'll have to put the external breakpoint and let's suppose some another user so by default for my user here you can see for my user this external breakpoint has been created what i want to do that i want to put this external breakpoint for some another user let's suppose in ui5 or fury application you know yard 001 is not logged in i am not logged in let's suppose yard 005 is logged in and he is trying to execute from there okay and i have to debug his application in backend if some data is not this uh, if some expected data is not uh, going from here to there right just assuming a scenario so on his user basically we have to put the external breakpoint and that user must be maintained in this system as well then only we will be able to put the external breakpoint otherwise not possible okay so first step you have to put the cursor over here and click on this external breakpoint and then go to utility go to the settings and here under the debugging you have to mention pr005 this user must be there okay so you can see that user account not in validity that that means this user is present but it is not active so it will not allow so you should have a valid user over here 
once you have to once you give the valid user click on this ok button and for that particular user external breakpoint will be set so i will show you how we can debug from ui5 or fury application in the coming classes hope you got at least the basic idea about it okay so in more detail we will be looking into this so this is now the conditional breakpoint what is this conditional breakpoint see here in this particular program okay here if you go and check let me explain what this program actually is going to do so you will be able to relate what i am doing okay so if you run this program see it's so you can see that it's stopping me every time right whether uh, breakpoint is here or not right because of this hard coded breakpoint so what i will do i will remove this one it is not required okay so let me first remove otherwise it will stop me every time over there so go into the change mode and just i will comment save this and activate this so this is the interactive report basically and the purpose of this interactive report is to display the list of material based upon the material type okay so here if i'm going to give roh you know it is it will be displaying the material from roh roh and if you double click on this 46 it should display the you know uh corresponding plants associated with that material again if you double click it will display the corresponding storage location associated with the matter and plant so this is just a demo program which is prepared for the purpose of showing you the debugging concept okay wherever like i will find that you know i have to show this concept i am going to use this one not only this program we are going to use the standard program some another program for bdc bapi module pool i am going to take but this is also one of the program which i am going to use frequently so this is the interactive report based upon the material type we are displaying the records and for their further information you have to just double click on that and it will be displaying the further information of that particular material okay based upon the creation date if you want to get the data right here so you can change like you can select the creation date and based upon the creation date basically it will you know give you the material so i want to find out all the material which are present between 1272020 and 1272022 i'm just going to give and click on this button and this is what the list of material we got so you got what this program is going to do okay now we are talking about the conditional breakpoint where we can use the conditional breakpoint first we will see how how we can set the conditional breakpoint okay so here under the display underscore data you can see that i'm using the loop at it underscore mara w underscore mara let's suppose some of the material you know i'm just going to put the breakpoint as of now okay session breakpoint okay now just to go back run this one and give this roh over here and run this so you can see that it has come and stopped it because it has to display now just assume a scenario where for any material number you are not getting the correct data let's suppose this material number okay you are not getting the correct data and just you want to debug here inside this loop and in loop there are 100 lines of you know if else other conditions case when many things just assume if it is there okay you want to debug that particular material you you, you are not interested in debugging all the stuff all the material you are facing only the issue with this particular material so you want to debug 
right? In this IT industry, Komara, there are 212 materials are there. So if you just like, if you do, you know, F5, you know, F5, 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 like that, if you are keep on doing, and if you will go to that particular material gradually, it will take time, right? So in this case, we can use the conditional breakpoint. You can use watch point also, I will let you know, but we have, you know, conditional breakpoint is very handy in fact, okay? You can put the complex condition in the conditional breakpoint, okay? So how to put? We want to stop directly at that particular material number. So what do we have to do that? Put a breakpoint just after this loop, okay? Just after this loop because you want to stop it, okay? Right click over here and here you can see that create breakpoint condition. So now this breakpoint will be converted into the conditional breakpoint. So here, what you are interested in when WA underscore Mara Matner value is going to be this material number, then please stop you are telling to the system. Okay, you can use the and condition, you can use the or condition. Okay, you can use like that. Click on this OK button and here you can see that one condition C, right? That means this is the conditional breakpoint. And now just press F8, okay? You don't have to go one by one, one by one, one by one. Okay, I'm talking about F5, F6, F7, F8. Let me quickly tell you about that if any one of you don't know, so that you will understand that what is F5, F6, F7, and F8, okay? So F5, is for the purpose of step by step, step by step. It will execute single statement at a time. Single statement at a time. F6, what is this? It will execute the module at a time. What is the module? Like if you have the function module, if your control is going to be there at the function module and if you press F6, it will not go inside the function module, okay? It will execute the complete function module and come out. So let me do one thing. First, let me explain about F5, F6, F7, and F8, and then again, I will come. Let it be like this. I'm going to save this one, okay, so that this will be converted into the session breakpoint. See, one thing over here. If you have the debugger breakpoint, and if you want to take it over here permanently during your user session, means till the time you are logged in into the session, click on the save button, and it will be converted into the session breakpoint. If you don't click on the save button, when you will come out from this, uh, you know, uh, debugger mode, automatically that will be gone, okay? So, because again, I have to commit over here because I want to show you how to use the conditional breakpoint, you know, I have converted that breakpoint to the session breakpoint and it will be there even if you come out from the debugger mode, okay? So, and just, you know, I'm going to deactivate this. I don't want to delete. I want to deactivate at this moment. So press F it and we have come out, okay? We will be discussing what is that activate, deactivate, all those things. Let me first explain F5, F6, the basic things so that if anyone know why over here in debugging, they will be able to understand. See, if you want to debug any application, Either you can directly put the breakpoint on any executable line or else you can give here slash s and press enter, your debugger will be switched on. Now, if you press F8, you know, and press F6, uh, F5, I'm pressing F5 now. So 
so you can see the if stay step by step see step by step each statement it's executing each statement it's executing each statement it's executing you can see here it's executing each statement i'm just pressing f5 right now you know um let me go to directly that program you know that uh, report okay so i'm trying to go into that particular report here you can see that here we have come already we have put a session breakpoint and that's the region it has stopped over here okay so now this is subroutine right you can see that dynamic selection screen perform a statement we are using that means whenever we are going to use perform meaning that we are calling the subroutine right that means this would have been defined using form and end form right so if you want to go inside this you have to press f5 a step by a step you are not going to miss even a single step that's the meaning of f5 either you press f5 or from here also you can do it but better to use the keyboard f5 don't use this one right why because if you want to be an efficient developer efficient abapper efficient techno functional you know avoid using the you know this this symbol start from start using the keyboard f5 f6 that one it will help you to become more efficient and fast okay so i'm pressing f5 and what it will be that it will go inside the subroutine see here it has come inside the subroutine again f5 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 right so step by step step by step step by step it's going and debugging right now you might be thinking it has not gone into this i'm telling a step by step see because this condition is not true that's why it's not going over here you know so this step it has checked because of the condition falls it is coming and checking over here right so group one there is a blank so even this condition will be not executed and it will be coming out over here after this so id cd this is again blank so again it will go out, come out right so because the condition is false it's going to the uh, it's coming out from the block okay but it's executing a step by step only okay so this is the meaning of a step by step now i have uh, let me let me go back let me now go back again i'm coming back over here i will let you know how you can come back over here okay i've just come back you can see that my control is now here once again now what i want to do i don't want to go inside this then what i will do but i want to execute i don't want to go inside this but i want to execute just right here in the chat box what we are going to do what we have to do f5 or f6 or f7 or f8 i would just want to execute this module and I want to go to the next statement very good amaya right just f6 correct just press f6 it will execute the complete module and we will go to the next statement see but if you want to go inside you will have to use the f5 okay so this part you understood now again i'm going back over here at this statement see i have come to this statement once again right i'm not executing again and again you know from here directly i'm jumping to this how to do i will let you know but at this moment just understand f5 f6 f7 and f8 okay so f5 and f6 we understood now i'm going to tell you about f7 see let's suppose you have come inside this and you realize that by looking into this code or debugging that you know this is not the place you know you found that okay fine everything is fine and now see in this screen it will go several times till the property of the screen is not going to end so it will iterate through all the elements of the screen and let's suppose if you have the thousand screen elements it will go through all those thousand times right you are not interested doing f5 because it will take time 
and you know everything is fine over here by watching into this code by looking into this code by observing into this code everything is fine then you want to come back okay where you want to come back you want to come back to the next statement over here currently where you are currently here you are okay so for that purpose what we are going to use tell me we don't want to you know execute each and everything so for that purpose we are going to use f7 okay f7 so pressing f7 and you can see that this has been executed completely and we have come over here now neither i want to do a step by step neither i want to uh, execute only module and now either we want to you know come out from the current module we want the complete execution of the program okay so press f8 so if you will press f8 complete program will be executed okay now once again come here and activate the debugger click on this button and see again a step by step i'm going to perform see again it is going now i want to come back so f7 okay again step by step step by step step by step here i want i don't want to go inside so what i will do i will press what tell me f6 right i will press f6 right so it was performed display output so it has displayed all the output over here correct so this is how you will have to use f5 f5 means step by step f6 means if you have to execute any function module any subroutine okay any class method directly use the f6 we are going to see many times okay and f7 if you have come inside any module either it is a subroutine or function module or methods of a class if you want to go back just press f7 it will take you to the just previous control from where that particular you know uh, module has been called right so this is the point and f8 is for the purpose of complete execution so f f6 to execute any module so this module can be fm this can be a sub routine and this can be what methods right so for that purpose to execute any modules and now f7 Okay, now tell me one question over here, then we will go ahead. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Here you can see that my work process is stuck. One screen is here stuck, right? One screen is here stuck. And this is fine. I, I, I want to kill this screen, right? So either what you can do, you can come over here and click on this stop transaction, it will be killed or else what you can do that you can come over here slash hx you can give and press enter what will happen that that will be gone see now that is not there right so this is one point how to kill that screen which is stuck using slash hx you can kill that one so how to kill that Tired the screen. Use slash hx. Okay. Now come here. Mm. Yeah, I was supposed to ask a question. Very basic question. See here. You can see that at selection screen output, you know, let me press F6. Yeah. Now, 
going to inside. Now you tell me, you know, here U line is there, right? U line is here. If I press a five over here, this is a single statement, right? This is a single ABAP statement. If I'm going to press a five over here, what will happen? Or if I'm going to press F6, what is going to happen? So when I'm going to press F5, or when I'm going to press F6, what will be the impact on this if this is the single statement, right? What will be the impact? See, if it is a single statement, then F5 and F6 is going to have the same impact most of the time, okay? So here, I'm going to press F5, you can see that. You know, what it, what it is going to do, right? Top of page, it's triggering the top of page. Why it's triggering the top of page? Because, Whenever the first write statement is going to trigger in your program, first it will call the top of page event, right? You all agree. All the ABAP developer who is from the ABAP background in a report, when the very first write statement is going to get execute, it will call the top of page event, right? Because the top of page first should be displayed, then only anything other should be displayed. So whenever the first write statement is going to get executed, see, U line is what? U line is your, your first write statement. U line, what's the impact of U line? It will, it will draw a line on the screen. That means it is writing a line, correct? It is writing a line. So write, you know, line, 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 line. So U line is nothing but a right statement. U line is nothing but a right statement. So U line is a right statement implicitly. And that's the reason it's calling the top of page. Okay. So first header will be printed and then it's going to print that U line. Okay. So I'm pressing F5. So what happens when I press the F5? It has first trigger the event because it's going a step by a step, right? Now, here in this scenario, if you press F6, I'm just pressing F6, you can see that it didn't trigger that particular, you know, top of page event. But when you pressed F5, it has triggered that particular top of page because step by step, right? Now, here, see here, I'm going to press uh, F5, write a statement. This is the material side line. So I'm pressing F5, 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 C. Nothing is happening. But, you know, if you press F6, in this case also it is going to be half same, right? Because there is no internal execution is getting happened. So if you want to see any kind of internal execution, if it is going to happen, you are supposed to use F5. F5 is the smallest debugger unit step, okay? F5 is the atomic step, uh, which will help you to step by step execution, okay? So here, if you use uh, uh, F6, again, it will, you know, it will be half same, step by step. So in most of the scenario for the single statement, F5 and F6 is going to work in the same way. But here, just to press F8 and we have come over here. Here, this is the material number w underscore mara hyphen matner okay if you press over here f5 you know you just observe where it's taking you to okay it has taken you to the conversion exit material output right so whenever you are going to perform any right statement okay and if any conversion exit is associated with that it will take you inside that conversion exit see so you know, uh, fine. At this moment, just to understand this much, press F7. So let's suppose you don't want to go inside that. Then in that case, what you will use? Tell me, you want to completely execute this one without going inside the, you know, uh, conversion exit. Tell me. 
F7, no, F7, F6, F6, right? We want to execute complete statement without going into the conversion exit, you know? So F6 is the, uh, F6 is the key which we have to use. So if you press F6, see here, see? Again, it's not going, I'm using F6, again. Again, control has come, again, I'm going to use F6. It will not go inside, okay? Only for material. If you press F5 over here, it will go inside. If you press F5 over here, it will not go inside because for the material type, there is no conversion exit associated, so it will not go inside. So let's make it simple. You know, the simple thing is that if you want to debug at atomic level, a step by step, very minute level, use F5. If you don't want to debug at minute level, at a statement level, you know, also use the F6, that's it, okay, fine. So let's uh, go here and this F6 uh, to execute any module or complete a statement or complete a statement. You don't want to go inside the statement, a statement, right? Matner, you don't want to go inside again the conversion exit, how it is writing. If you want to check out exactly what is happening, you can use F5. But if you want to execute the complete statement, use F6. Okay. F7. Take you back to the next statement from the calling control. Okay, so that means if perform is there, right? If perform, let's suppose perform test. And here form test and end form we are having, right? This test is the subroutine. So when your control has come over here, uh, line one, let's put this line one and line two code, line three code, right? So after perform test, you have some another executable statement called write successful, something like that, some statement, okay? So when perform test is going to execute, this perform test will be calling this form. Now, when control, your control is here on line one and you observe that you don't have to go ahead. You are going to press F7, right? So what will happen that your control will now come at this right statement, okay? Just next executable statement, when you press F7, you know, it will go. So this is about the F7, we understood. This is what I've written. Effect complete execution. Complete execution of the program. Fine. Now let's go back. So hope you understood this basic concept F5, F7, Effect, right? Now let's go to that conditional breakpoint. Okay. I think it is deleted somehow. No, it's there, right? Loop at it underscore Mara, w underscore Mara. It's present. Okay. Let me activate it once again. And uh, run it. RH. It's not stopping because we have deactivated and automatically it's not getting activated, okay? So what I will do that, let me do one thing, ROH activate the debugger, run this one and go to the settings, uh, go to the breakpoints and activate all breakpoints, okay? So that our deactivated breakpoint will be activated and now press F8. Now also it's not getting activated by, it should stop it there, 
right let's go and check it what's getting wrong under the breakpoint or watch point okay there is no breakpoint it looks like that is deleted you know even there is no inactive one okay so it looks like that has been deleted okay go inside this see it's not there basically you know so let me put it somehow it was deleted that's why it's not a stopping okay so i'm going to press uh, i'm going to put the conditional breakpoint and i'm expecting it to stop only for that particular material okay so let's suppose i want to stop my breakpoint at this material which is at index number 59 remember index number 59 it should stop at the index number 59 over here okay so let me show you first come here come here come here we are looping it now so index is first right what is the site tab x site tab x tell me what is the meaning of site tab x site tab x tells you the index number of the current line of the internal table so this is my internal table it underscore mara and in this it underscore mara the currently the control is where on the first line so the site tab x is one because the first loop pass is going on right first loop pass so <clears throat> now i'm going into the second loop pass as soon as you will come to the second loop pass here it will become two okay because site tab x represents the second line of the internal table okay so site tab x does not represent the loop pass in fact site tab x represents the line where the current control is there so in it underscore mara current control is where on the second line right so second is the site tab x from interview point of view also this is very important question what that what's the difference between psi index and psi tab x so psi tab x always represents the current line of an internal table on the other hand psi index represents the current loop pass of the actual loop in a map do and do right while and while so let's not go into that that is the basics of a map you already know here this is not the actual loop this is the iterative statement okay so here there will be no any impact on the psi index but here the records the control on the records is getting changed first it was on the first records in the second pass it was on the second on the third loop pass it was on the third right so like that it will be keep on changing see here so now third so what i'm going to do i'm put the conditional breakpoint so that it will stop on that particular you know uh material so w a underscore mara matner equals to this one and this one click on this okay button right and now <clears throat> press f8 okay and as soon as you will press f8 you can see that it uh it will stop only for that particular material number what was that material number this was the material number what was the site tab x 59 i've just pressed f8 and it has stopped only on that material number right so even you can go and check it out if you have forgot like what is you know uh the condition you have written see 110 so i have pressed f8 and it has stopped only for that it has not stopped in between okay in between there were so many materials right see there are so many materials there are 58 materials right because at 59th we are having that 110 materials right so it has skipped all those materials you know it has executed but it has not a stop over here because why this is the conditional breakpoint based upon the condition that breakpoint will get a stop 
so this is the meaning of a conditional breakpoint so you got idea about conditional breakpoint now some more breakpoints we have <laughs> dynamic breakpoint we'll be discussing tomorrow in more detail about this dynamic breakpoint i will let you know the glimpse idea because we are talking about the different types of breakpoint so just i have uh you know remove that uh, tight session and now press f8 here if you go to the breakpoints and here you will find one option called the breakpoint at this all option comes under the dynamic breakpoint you know means dynamically if you want to stop your execution let's suppose you want to stop on the right statement you can use the abap command okay so wherever the right statement will be there automatically the breakpoint will be set over there and it will stop okay this is the or let's suppose some select statement is there you want to stop your breakpoint automatically if anywhere in the code select is written it will stop everywhere okay that's the meaning of uh, abap commands okay similarly method you can specify the class and the method so in your execution under your flow if any class and method is going to come a specific method you know it will stop similarly if you want to get a stop on a particular function module or bapi right you can use this option on a specific subroutine of a program you can use this on a specific exception on a specific message id and message number very handy tool in a support project right if you want to identify a particular error message is coming from which place you can put this dynamic breakpoint option tomorrow i will show you okay source code if you want to get a stop on a particular row number of a source code you can use this one this is the st simple transformation template like if you are going to transform from xml to you know internal table or from internal table to xml simple transformation right if you don't know about the simple transformation just uh, check it out on the google right what is this or i will prepare one video and share with you for the simple transformation okay webdin pro a specific component if you are going to uh, you know debug or controller or method we can use and here we have the miscellaneous whenever any stack change and all so these are the different options for the dynamic breakpoint you are having so this is what we have the dynamic breakpoint okay so this is the dynamic breakpoint on any abap statement class methods any fm dynamically you can stop right simple transformation uh component or controller of the uh webdin pro right subroutine etc message id or message number message id and message number so dynamic breakpoint very important tool in the debugger right another is the custom breakpoint what is this custom breakpoint if you want to create a custom breakpoint for this purpose you will have to use the debugger scripting debugger with the help of debugger scripting you can you know with the help of debugger scripting we can create the custom breakpoint very interesting this one this is the very interesting about uh, we are going to learn you know debugger scripting okay so once you learn you will understand the power of this debugger scripting what i'm talking about this tab a script tab we have right so very useful very powerful okay uh, will be beneficial in the complex scenario for a small a small scenario 
don't waste time with the scripting you know the script whenever you have some complex requirement to deal with then we can use how to use i will let you know with this let's stop our today's session and go into the question answer mode so i'm going to unmute you over here okay and you can ask the question first let me take the question which i have got in the chat box amia is telling what if we use f7 at 200 lines let me go to that uh, uh, program you were talking about the 200th line so control o and 200 so that we can directly go to the 200 and we can put the 200 so okay fine so here if you press f7 it will come out from the subroutine you know and this is getting called from where it's getting called from you know here perform so it will go to the next statement so let's suppose after this if you have the next statement the break let's suppose the next statement some executable statement i'm just going to put so it will stop it here basically this is the next statement it will stop but the thing is that we have the display option over there you know so let's see how it's going to get we have okay run this one run this run this and go inside already i have put the breakpoint you have told me to put the breakpoint at 200th line right so here here it will not be able to put but here you can put the breakpoint okay press f8 and if you press f7 technically what will happen that from this form and end form the control will come out okay so i'm going to press f7 so because this is a breakpoint right just remove this and press f7 you can see that it has come to the next executable statement so hope uh, you got your answer i mean now lakshmi yeah lakshmi what's your doubt sir when we use f7 mm -hmm. it will go to previous one mm -hmm. previous yes. statement Mm -hmm. when it is uh, perform and loop statement is there then it will go to next statement i'm not getting this no no see the thing is that inside this form and end form it does not matter where you are if you press f7 it will come out from this uh, subroutine whether you are here or whether you are here or whether you are here you are going to come out from this subroutine getting the point the next next statement or back said back with no, the next statement that's what i'm told after this statement you have this breakpoint right so when you press f7 it will go to this statement because already this has been executed right so when you press f7 you know see i'm again going inside this so when you press f7 all this code will be executed in fact and then it will it is not like that simply it is coming from here if you press f7 f7 means it will be executed all this code you know and then it will because already that code is executed so the next statement is this one so it will come over here got lakshmi got got normally if we press f7 it will go to previous statement right 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 okay. I, I have seen you know when people were having the uh, not good concept so what he was or maybe just he might get confused you know uh, what his understanding was let me tell you uh, what he used to think inside this loop and end loop let's suppose your control is over here sorry i have to press a fat so inside this loop and end loop your control is here what he was having the understanding that if i press f7 the control will come over here you know on this statement so that is not the correct understanding okay your control will not come here your complete control will come out from this module whether it is a function module or method or subroutine this is subroutine completely it will come out from that particular module if it is function module it will completely come out from that function module and go to the previous calling point previous uh next statement to the calling point of that particular module so 
what is the calling point of this particular module is this one and what is the next statement this one so it will come over here you can see that it is here got the point lakshmi yes sir thank you welcome so now lakshmi is done srinivas can we put many conditions there yes you can put many condition and or you can use you know and a statement or a statement you can use tarun hi hi pankaj mm -hmm. yeah my doubt is suppose i i want to put three or more conditions on different fields at a conditional breakpoint yeah okay suppose Let... suppose i uh, you have put at a right statement at mara statement right right uh, mara wa mm -hmm. underscore uh, mara here we are putting mara condition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. suppose i want to put there for makt and as well as some other uh, description as well yes we yes you can put same statement are we yes yes on the same same say i will show you by putting in front of you so let me go inside i mean only mara field is there now we need to put conditional breakpoint only for mara field or we can put any field there at that statement one second yeah I, i will show you just give me a second yeah so let's go inside this and i'll put the breakpoint over here so right click over here and your question is w underscore mara matner equals to some condition right here you can give or a statement if you want to use directly you will not be able to you will have to use or or and a statement okay that's w fine uh, that's fine pankaj i my question mm -hmm. is suppose ma at mara mm -hmm. statement below ma mta rt is there na field Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I, I want to put MTA RT condition there at Mara field itself. Yeah, you can put na. What is the problem? Here you can create the breakpoint. Right click over here. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Not that. Way. At that place. First here place. itself. Two zero one. Yes, Martin you can itself. create. You can create. You can create. But can I, that should can be. I, hmm. yeah. yeah. Tell me. Tell me. You. But you will have to use or or and a statement. Directly, you cannot write W underscore Mara Matner equal to this W underscore Mara hyphen. No, no, no. My question is not that one, uh, mm. Pankaj. At the statement of two not one conditional breakpoint, I want mm. to put W Mara M T A R T is some value, not instead of matter. Can I put like that? Yes, yes, yes. You can, you can put. Uh, okay, okay. I got your point. Just a second. You can put that one. Okay. You can put that one. So let me show you. Copy this one. Yeah, because of two not one to two not five is single statement. I got your point, but you can put, but it will stop only when when that value is going to be true. Okay. Value should be there in that loop. Then only it will stop. Correct. Correct. Can, so you any, can any, create. Any, any. Yes, you can okay. create. So see here, I, I'm able to create now. If I press F8, it will stop only when when the mat M tart is going to be, you know. uh this line it is going to stop only when when the mtart value is going to be roh okay so if you press f it see it has stopped and if you check the mtart over here it is roh okay so you can put any field value which is mm -hmm. public any point. field value the thing is that if that is going to be true then only it will stop over there okay we need to put at the only at that statement or suppose uh, right on u line statement is there na pankaj Mm -hmm. there also we can put wmr matner is equal to something like that or only we need to put in loop in loop see here like if you uh, try to use i think it will give you the error you know for example right click over here uh because w underscore mara here it will not be understood by the system right yes sir. scope yes. is not there so it will not allow so if you come over here let's give a try W A underscore Mara hyphen M tart equal to R O H, and if you click on this OK, it should give error. Okay, it's not giving the error, but it will not make sense, right? Yes, yes, that's fine. It will not make sense here because already W underscore Mara is, I think, uh, you know, in under the scope. That's why it has allowed, but there is no sense over here by giving that one. Okay. Yeah, one Pankaj, more, one more small doubt. The, sorry, Pankaj, could you go to the uh, work? One second, uh, one second, one uh, just one second. Uh, um, Srinivas, your query is over. 
no no one more question is yeah there. please tell me yeah yeah yes. in dynamic break point mm -hmm. if i put some call method that method name there yes Hello? yes yes yeah then right. it will fetch yeah. from starting point to ending point of the program right execution whole whole execution of the program it will search right uh you, you were telling uh, under this here if you are going to write call method right yes call function or methods some the wherever like the that. call method will be there no yeah whole program whole program in whole program right? whole program whatever the scope will be there we will be discussing more about this you know each and everything we are going to see how it's going to work whole program it will consider okay and okay. that's the beauty of that dynamic breakpoint we will discuss in very much detail in tomorrow's session okay yeah other people uh, who who was uh, asking please go ahead Sorry, Pankaj, could you just go to the breakpoint and watch point tab just to see the um, things yes, that got yes. created now? Yes, yes. See, this okay. is the uh, breakpoint. This is the breakpoint and condition you can see here. The condition for two breakpoint, we have created the condition. Here you can see that condition. Okay. Here you can see condition. And the detail information also, you know, I like. Uh, which source code which position it has if some filter is there see this filter is again a very good functionality right so i will show you how this filter is going to uh, work you know how this filter is going to work generally we use for the dynamic breakpoint this particular filter so tomorrow we are tomorrow is going to be very important class you know today we, we are just talking about the introduction and some basic stuff from tomorrow onwards we are going to be full fledged and it's going to be a very important session from tomorrow onwards. Okay. Sir, so this is uh, desktop one, desktop two, that all tabs will be also explained, sir? Hmm. Yes, it's simple, right? Desktop one here, you will be able to see this is how it's coming, right? Desktop one under the desktop tom, this is the source code is displaying here. You have the variable and all, correct? Under the desktop two, only the stack is showing up over here under the desktop three only the variable will be shown yeah. so desktop one will be there where variable and stack both will be shown desktop two is where under this only the stack will be shown desktop three where the variable only will be shown this is the standard where this and this and here just the position is different right but the stack and variable both is showing together so generally by default your system is going to get open in the standard mode okay and the structure like here, you know, if you double click on this W underscore Mara automatically, it will take you to the structure mode or you can directly click on this structure and give the structure name. It will give you the content if it is already defined. Then the table information. OK, so if you double click on any internal table over here, automatically it will navigate to this tables information. For example, here LT underscore Mara, if you double click, it will take you to this tables automatically or else you go manually tables and give the table name over here this is object explorer when you double click on any class object it will take you to this tab okay and it will give you the detailed information so this is for any field this is a you know uh, again like for the detail if you click on any field value by by default it will come to this you know this is a data explorer okay breakpoint watch point difference i will let you know how to use this difference you know if you want to compare the two internal uh -huh. table okay then you can use this difference you can compare the two internal table a script we are going to talk it okay so uh okay A any other question hello panka yeah this screen was another yes. person mm -hmm. yes uh, uh, can you open the display method display method okay yes, yes. my code okay. correct okay. Yes, yes. Can you go on two not only? If one one ninety nine is there, suppose loop and end loop is there. Mm -hmm. uh, suppose in that loop internal table we have a thousand records. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. After the two not channel, we have some other code. Suppose if we want mm -hmm. to debug uh, that line, mm -hmm. we have to press uh, thousand times, right? At that time, how can we come to the next line? For example, two thousand. Two two two. Two not yes, nine you want to. Yes, so yes, you can put yes. breakpoint and press F8, no? Right? Yeah. 
no option is there only we have to mandatory put the session breakpoint and we have no direct on. also you have the option you can put the cursor over here okay, okay. and okay. shift f8 shift f8 oh. you will do then okay it will execute all the line and it will come over here so even if you are going to remove okay mm, and okay. i'm just going to remove and what i want i want to execute all these things and i want to come over here without putting the breakpoint so shift f8 right okay, okay press and you can see that i've just shift f8 and it has come over here okay, okay. so here also you'll get the different option you know continue to cursor shift f8 go to a statement this is what i'm using you know without okay. executing the program let's suppose i want to go back over here you line so just okay. shift f12 and it will control will come over here you know so let's suppose like i want to debug this once again so control because come over here so again i will start debugging without re-executing the program right okay yeah so this is skipping and all we are not supposed to do in the production system in development and test system is fine okay, okay. shall we get this code after class was over yes yes i will give you the code let me put this code right away in the whatsapp group so please make sure that you be part of the whatsapp group which okay. Uh, okay i'll put there also and uh, i will share through the email as well uh, can you by, uh, can you please share to email if it is possible because by when the, the recording will be available pankas uh it will be available after two three hours you know because it will take some time to process you know and from the website you can go ahead and you can check it and one more thing i wanted to share you know that let's suppose uh uh there are two ways to join our live session one way is uh, directly through the link you can join so what you have to do that you have to go to the website or if you don't want to go to the website directly if you want to join this session already i have shared this link with you so go to this uh, link and because you are already registered what will happen that it will not ask you to register once again okay let me log in through some another id okay mm, so so you know once you go inside basically it is asking for me because i have not registered with this email uh, so there once you go inside or let me register or how to show you just give me a second let me do some settings and i will show you quickly <laughs> 